Why hello there, and welcome back to my sample series. This is part two of my 4K sample series on Viva Pinata running on the Xbox One X in 4K. Uh, in part one, I started up a garden and filled it full of dirt and seed and got several different types of animals to show up. And more specifically, pinatas. Uh, we've got worms, we've got sparrows, we've got snakes, got a deer that's hanging out. So yeah, let's have a further ado, let's just hop in here. This is part two. You seem to have most of the basics then. So see what you can do with the rest of the day before the sun goes down. Alright. We've got a bunny comb appearing. Look at that little thing. I believe this game came out to be... Did you see that bunny comb appear? You must be able to smell the carrots in your garden. Ah, I have a carrot in my garden, apparently. Look at that. But yeah, this game did come out specifically to be timed with a, a TV show also called Viva Pinata. Sort of a cross-marketing thing. I don't think that um, that show was very successful, though, as I don't think it lasted very long. Pick this thing up and drop it near where the bunny is. How's that sound? Hey, bunny. Moth drop. You can get a sense of the naming conventions of these pinata. Named after candies or such. Well done! You attracted a moth drop. When the sun goes down, the moth drop will look for a suitable garden. All right. Uh, in listening to the first video, I checked the audio levels, and my voice was a little bit too loud there. So what I've gone and done is I've, um... Move the microphone a little bit further away. Hopefully that should make it sound better. Sorry folks, but it's always amateur hour here on this channel. I'm always learning. Always trying to correct for mistakes. That deer is not interested in actually crossing into this area. It's just sort of hanging out nearby. Take a look inside this thing. Here is your clock. From now on, you can see what time it is in the garden. Some gardeners use their clock to pre- Yeah, the controls of this are very sticky. Look at that. Mm. Uh, that rabbit is not all that interested in this carrot, I suppose. Oh well. Problem is, is until it crosses into this area, I can't hover over it to see what its residency requirements are. So I can't move this beyond this boundary. And while we're waiting for daytime, let's take a look at the environments around here. Got various different buildings associated with uh, characters that will show up from time to time. I mean, there are many characters in this game that we have yet to meet. Sort of a mucky area over there. Huh. 
Like I said in the first video, you will be given opportunities to expand the area of your garden, but there's definitely a limit to how far it goes. And you can kind of see where that limit is. If you look beyond this grass area to where the brown patch dirt is and that water right there, that little pond. Oh, I can actually move like this. Huh. Interesting. But there's no cursor here. I don't know if I've ever known that. In any case, this right here is the, is the maximum size your garden can get to. So I'd say you can just about double it in size. Oh, it looks like the bunny finally came around. I think eating a carrot is its residency requirement, but I'm not sure. It has to eat three carrots. Oh, let's, um... Hmm. And I was only given one seed. Hey. Here are the experience pests. Okay, that's how when I get the experience. Bucket. When you do something to help the garden, the petals will turn blue. If you'd like some more information about the experience petals, press Y or look in the journal. Now, let's see how many experience points you have gained from your work so far. Okay, let's take a look here. You've leveled up. You fill the petals around the clock, which means you've taken a step closer to becoming a truly great gardener. Cool. All kinds of things happen when you become a better gardener. New shops open, new items appear in the shops, new pinatas will want to visit, new characters appear, and Seedos will have new seeds in his pouch. Alright, that all sounds good. <laughs> Who's this guy? Let me introduce Seedos. He's obsessed with gathering seeds. You should try talking to him. I don't know, he sounds kind of seedy. <laughs> yeah, this game just kind of has a lot of waiting involved. And it is a gorgeous looking game. Even when I played it back in the day at 720p, it was gorgeous looking. But looking at it in 4K, yeah. It's something to behold, in my opinion. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, I'm Zidos. Take a seat. And don't hit me with your spade. I mean, I wasn't planning on doing that, but okay. Well, let's see, um... What grows here? Doesn't need to be watered yet. It'll be overwatered if we do that now. Hit the information button on this guy. Some persuasion, what, whacking him with the spade? Sometimes pinatas prefer eating seeds to the plant they grow. Alright. Another seed. Cool. Put that right here.
daisy, and this is a buttercup, so a couple of flowers, I think. All right, go to the builder's shop, I guess. And implies there's gonna be other places to go to in the village. Let's see what we've got here. Nice to meet you. Willie Builder, established 20 years, regional award winner for services, time, and housing. You need some work done? Pinata and helper accommodation a specialty. I know my trade, don't you worry. All right, let's take a look here. Buy items. We can buy a sparrow mint home. Yeah, let's get one of those. Before I can stop the job, you need to place the work shed in your garden and settle the bill. I definitely have enough for that. Uh, let's put this thing over here. Doesn't like me putting it too close to the edge here for some reason. There we go. There we go. Jobs are good. Ready to pay? Yeah. I mean, what else am I going to use this money on at the moment? Okay. Kind of a long loading time associated with these menu transitions. It might not be actual loading, it might just be a transition period. I'm not sure. It's right here. Oh, he's standing right at the spot. Okay. White flutter scotch. So we got a moth and a butterfly in the area. And a little bit of experience towards leveling up with this visitor. Congratulations! You have attracted a white flutter scotch. Sometimes they are attracted by the noises of other animals, and sometimes the scent of flowers brings them. All right. A tappy. I believe this is a tap fly. I believe this is a fly. Here's a tap fly. It likes flowers. Any kind will do. Now that one's grown, I don't have to worry about watering it. Wily Lily the Builder is still building away. Even with this small gardening space, there's still plenty of space left to build stuff. Right, let's see what we've got here. Look at this. Look at her. Hey everyone. You should all know my store's open again. I expect to see you in here very soon. Just bring lots of cash. Oh, nobody likes the taste of chocolate coins more than Lottie, I can tell you. Chocolate coins, that's what you're that's what we're getting. The village general store is now open. Remember those chocolate coins you collected the other day? <laughs> now you can spend them at the store. When you get back to your garden, press X to open the main menu and select the village option. Then you can choose to visit any store or service that is open for business. All right, well, I've already uh, done that now once. Now the is open, you can buy romantic sweets. If you have remarked the piñata species before, you can replace all their requirements, except their house, with a romantic suite. Buy a suite and direct a piñata to it. 
They should eat it, and instantly they will have a heart appear over their head to show they are ready to romance. Really? I don't remember that. Either that's a new thing, or it's just a thing I never utilized. Okay. So here's the little bird house. Needs to eat a worm. So I need to sacrifice two worms in order to get these birds a mating. I'm just not doing that just yet. But I would like to see if I can get that bunny to move in. Next time you put the cursor over a piñata, you'll notice the happy meter. The happy meter tells you about your piñata's mood. Every time something happens to the piñata, the triangles turn orange or turn blue. The more orange triangles a piñata has, the happier it is. And you can see this on the face in the middle. All right. Let's take a look. All right. Looks content, I guess. Let's see here. Doesn't necessarily say anything about that or what would make it happier. I don't know. Here's the fly. Yay! Has eaten one flower of any kind. Okay, I have plenty of flowers at this point. At this point. Why is the fly shooting fly swatters? Apparently I also get a seed as well. Alright. Reverts it back to a seed when it eats it. Okay. Cool. Fret's tail. It's a fox. <laughs> a Pret's tail has appeared. They like to investigate a garden in the dark. Okay. Well, come on in, I guess. Your gardening is improving. Well done. You just seem to get better and better. I'll see. I don't have any poppies. Seed. All right. I'll, I'll plant it over here with the other things. See what we've got. A turnip. All right.
like this music. It's pretty nice. How come the birds aren't in their house? Turning out, that's probably going to turn into a pretty sizable turn up there. probably want to do is we we'll probably want to head to that new store here cost a lot store ah if it isn't the new gardener in town you're guaranteed a warm welcome at cost a lot store whether you're here to buy or sell which will it be today hi mighty select one and let's get those coins flowing all right so we've got here Excuse me, I had a sneeze a little there. We can buy some um, seeds here. Thistle seed, turnip, buttercup, daisy, and carrot. I think we want to get some carrots growing, so let's uh, buy. So that's your thing. They cost two each, and we have 205, so we definitely have enough. Let's get. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Check out. Okay, finish shopping for now. Yes. Why? Only some of these things planted. Gotta make money somehow, so whatever the bunnies don't eat, I'll probably sell back at a profit, hopefully. And it doesn't look like any of these things need watering. So, yeah. Awfully noisy fly there. Hey, you. Got anything new for me? I can identify every kind of seed with my eyes closed just by touching them with my nose. Okay, that's impressive. Of course, you're also smelling them, but. A buttercup, I think that's what we were looking for, right? Got another fly visitor. Has eaten one poppy. Okay, we need a poppy. Look at all these carrots. More than enough for this bunny to eat. And a second one, too. Look at this. The bunny's happy.
<laughs> Bunny. Alright. Squazzo. My favorite. It's a squirrel. Look at that little booger. <laughs> Look at that squazzle. The squazzle is interested in the garden when it has some better piñata living there. All right. Mouse Marlow. I think the snake wants to eat that thing. So I bet it's going to eat the turnip and become a resident, and then the snake will eat it and become a resident. Apparently, uh, animals are very much attracted to food. I know I am. So I can't blame them. Now, these carrots I have. Maybe I bought too many carrots. Like another rabbit who's going to show up at some point. There's the squazzo. That deer is still just hanging on the hang out on the outskirts, isn't it? We have to do to get another rabbit to show up. And we got these carrots. Maybe I should spread them out. Have one at each corner. And the mouse mall visited. Hey there. Uh, let's eat a turnip. Yep, I was right. I, I assume we can plant these to grow more, but I'm not sure if I have that seed yet. I don't know. Speaking of which, let's talk to this guy. That's sad. Huh, there's a turn up. Right? Cool. Puzzle gum. Sounds like a bee. Bumblebee. Looks like we leveled up too. Your garden has attracted a buzzle gum. They like almost any flower, but they prefer buttercups. And look, we have a resident mouse. Who's this? Pinata Island's magnificent postal services are at your disposal for all your needs. You know, passing stuff on, getting some goodies. I highly doubt there's very many people playing this game at this point, but you never know. A hunt has started. The pinata food chain means that sometimes the bigger, cute, and papery pinatas feed on the smaller, cute, and papery pinatas. All right. Well, why don't we? Uh, I'm just going to pause this and um, get this video uploading, and I guess stand by for part three of my 4K sample series on Viva Pinata running on the Xbox One X. Be back in a little bit.